Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Nissan South Africa has launched the country's first fully electric vehicle, the Nissan Leaf. Irma Fenter tells us more. Hi, Irma. Hi, Tracy. The Nissan Leaf is South Africa's first electric vehicle. Can you tell us how it differs from other vehicles on the market? To start with, you don't have an internal combustion engine, so you have a purely electric vehicle driven by lithium-ion batteries. So that makes it completely different. You don't pull up at a, at a, f a garage or a fuel uh, a station. You don't put in a fuel or anything like that. You actually recharge it. So you recharge it overnight at your home with a, a special charger. Or you have to, we have to now, South Africans, look at putting an infrastructure to look at and to charge um, electric vehicles. So you'll maybe find these at uh, shopping centers or at places where we typically spend a few hours. Uh, Nissan's rolling these out across the dealers in Hating at the moment, so that's where they hope people will actually go and recharge their vehicles. But in the long term, we'll have to look at charging infrastructure. And Nissan actually say that they're looking at talking to a third uh, party inf service provider to put up, these, uh, put up this infrastructure across uh, South Africa as they roll out the leaf. So that's your, your biggest difference. It also, of course, means that there's a, a much lower maintenance fees. You don't have to pay so much for a servicing on an electric vehicle because it has a, a little few moving parts. So there's no spark plugs, for example, that needs changing. So over a six-year period, Nissan, for example, says maintenance cost on this will be about 1,500 Rand that falls outside of their service plan that they provide. So that's quite a new um, idea of motoring that exists now in South Africa, as well as you have to keep an eye on um, how many uh, kilometers you have left. So there's a bit of a, what they call range anxiety as well. So the Leaf has got a, a range of 195 kilometers before it needs recharging. So you don't uh, keep an eye on the fuel gauge anymore. You look at that range meter and you see how many kilometers you can drive before you need to find a, a charging station. So there's the whole new level of, of driving and concentrating on how you drive and, and, and just driving a whole type of new vehicle as well because it doesn't have that normal uh, torque curve that you look at at internal combustion engines. All the power is basically available as soon as you put the car on at zero RPM. So it's quite a different driving experience, but it remains a typical car. It's four doors, five doors, you know, you get in and you drive. Talking about the driving experience, how did it compare to a normal vehicle? Well, so, um, the Leaf has got everything that every other car has. It has um, uh, air conditioning, it has uh, ABS. So it has all that type of thing that you that we've become used to as South Africans in, in vehicles. So it seats five people very comfortably. It's got a big boot. So it, anybody can drive it. It doesn't need any training. It doesn't need anything special. It can actually just get in and, and drive and just be aware that there's a, a lot of power actually under the boot, so to speak. And what are Nissan's expectations in terms of sales in 2014? Um, they don't expect it to be a, the, this to be a volume seller because it's a bit of new technology and as I say there's, there's this thing called range anxiety so people and there's also a bit of a cost uh, there's, this car costs 446,000 Rand so that's, that's quite a steep price uh, that you pay for a car like this um, so uh, there's a few things that will probably put people off buying the car but um, it should do well as more electric vehicles come onto the market. So next year we're expecting the BMW i3, uh, we're expecting an electric Golf from Volkswagen as well. So it'll maybe be like the hybrids. At first we only had the, uh, the Toyota Prius, but then as more hybrids came onto the market, South Africans became used to the idea of a hybrid. And hopefully the same will, will happen with electric vehicles. Government is drafting a strategy on electric vehicles. How is this initiative progressing? It's doing quite well. It's a bit slower than everybody expected. So uh, Trade and Industry Minister Rob Davis said that he expects to have it available for Cabinet by the end of next year so that they can sign off on it. And it's got a bit of a manufacturing angle to it. So it's looking at manufacturing electric vehicles in South Africa because we don't want to be left behind should electric vehicles become the uh, car of the future. Mm -hmm. And it's also looking at government procurement of electric vehicles. So hopefully they can put this out as soon as possible. Um, at the moment, Nissan's not hoping on government providing any incentives for the buying, uh, for the purchasing of electric vehicles like happened in other countries. So um, unfortunately, that doesn't seem it will come to fruition. Thanks, Omar. That is the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.